So it's Roundup herbicide that's specially formulated for big jobs. That's the new one. On uh, this one, it says biodegradable. That's the old one. It doesn't say biodegradable anymore, so it must no longer be biodegradable. It's the same product. I imagine they don't have the right to say it anymore. It must not really be biodegradable. Be careful not to spray it in my face. Oh, I'm not a murderer. Well, I'm sure these Roundup Ready soybeans are ready to harvest today. They're probably about... I'm going to say about 11.5% moisture, so they're perfect for harvest. First heard about Roundup Ready soybeans in a farm magazine about eight years ago, and uh, it seemed like a neat in innovation. The soybean has a protein genetically inserted into the plant, and it's resistance of Roundup. The Roundup is sprayed on the plants there are some definite advantages. If you look at our, my field here, you don't see weeds. When label directions are carefully followed, Roundup is not harmful to humans, animals, or their environment. Copyright Monsanto, made in Belgium. If you see any snails, don't spray them because they'll be inedible. To watch the strawberries. I'd encourage European farmers to take a look at the Roundup Ready technology. Frankly, it's very good for the environment. It's a sustainable system. So, give it a try. Monsanto. For 20 years I've traveled the globe and everywhere I've heard about this American multinational. But what I've heard hasn't always been positive. Wanting to know more, I surfed the web for months to put the pieces of the puzzle together. On its website, Monsanto positions itself as an agricultural company that aims to help farmers produce healthier food while reducing agriculture's impact on our environment. Its leading product is Roundup, the world's best-selling herbicide for the last 30 years. One shot. All it takes for weeds. Roundup. Monsanto is also the world leader in biotechnology. 90% of the GMOs grown on the planet belong to them. Most of them have been genetically modified to resist the application of Roundup, like Roundup Ready soybeans. Monsanto's GMOs have invaded the planet. But no ag industry product in history has ever incited as much controversy and passion. Why? What's at stake with GMOs? And could the company's past shed some light on what the company is or claims to be today? Founded in St. Louis, Missouri in 1901, it was not always an agricultural company. It was one of the largest chemical companies of the 20th century. Chemistry is working for you, and very likely Monsanto is working for you. Monsanto, where creative chemistry works wonders for you. The wonders boasted about in this commercial made Monsanto one of the most controversial companies in the industrial era. Agent Orange, Aspartame, 
bovine growth hormone, PCBs. These chemically created oils used worldwide as coolants and lubricants in electrical equipment were the jewels in Monsanto's crown for over 50 years. They were called Araclor in the United States, Pyrrolin in France, and Clofen in Germany, until they were banned in the early 1980s. Monsanto PCB. A Washington Post article from 2002. Monsanto hid decades of pollution. It happened in Anniston, Alabama. Terry was my baby brother. Uh, he died in 1971. Uh, from a cancer of the brains, or a tumor of the brains, cancer of the lungs, and hurries of the heart. He was 16. In the last three years, I have lost more friends. Uh, they died from illnesses, cancer, um, sugar diabetes, uh, hepatitis, all these different ailments that comes with PCBs, and they have been related to PCB. This is Monsanto Road. This is all just a black area of uh, minorities that live in this area. But every one of these homes was like contaminated. They just cleaned that yard up over there to the right about six months ago. These was all homes. These people lived here and they now, they had to move. They, I mean, the houses was torn down. My brother fell dead right around the house. This is the house I was raised in. See this grass right here, they buried PCBs over here. Monsanto got permission to bury PCBs in Anniston. And uh, this is Snow Creek right here, where they put the cement in here. It comes from the plant discharging to PCBs all the way down through here. And it was poisoning. Uh, they never told anybody, but they told the state. The state didn't tell us. PCB Monsanto knew, but what exactly did they know? An environmental organization in Washington, D.C., headed by Ken Cook, has put internal Monsanto files online. Most of them are classified confidential. FYI and destroy. nineteen thirty seven exposure to PCBs provokes systemic toxic effects and acne form skin eruption in nineteen sixty one two workers developed hepatitis symptoms after a pipe broke in a factory using PCBs in nineteen sixty six Monsanto scientists placed fish in Snow Creek's water all were dead in three and a half minutes Pollution, a letter addressed to sales executives in 1970. This is the one that really tells you the story. They're saying, we can't afford to lose one dollar of business. Their neighbors in Anniston were not told about the, the poisoning that they were inflicting upon them because they didn't want to lose one dollar. It was only when lawyers went to court on behalf of people in Anniston and forced the company through the legal system to disclose these internal secret documents that we knew what they knew. They knew the truth from the very beginning. They lied about it. They hid the truth from their neighbors. They hid the truth in many cases from the government authorities. And when they did share information with government authorities that should have been acted upon, the government of authorities, instead of siding with the people who were being poisoned, sided with the company. They sided with Monsanto. It was outrageous, absolutely unforgivable. <laughs> oh, these are all your members? Yeah. Well, no, they ain't all of them. I got some more here. <laughs> 
How much you have in you? 63.8 in the blood. In the blood. If they took a fatty biopsy of him now, he probably would top the scales of about three or 4,000 parts per billion or more. And which is a level acceptable? I mean, acceptable is two, point, part, uh, two parts per billion. That's the standard all around the world. But these people, we have more in our bloods and in our body than actually anywhere else in the world. Uh -huh. It's usual here to speak about his PCB point. level. We all talks about it because it became a household word now. Kids used to run up to me, Mr. Baker, I, I got tested. I had three point part per billion in my blood. Uh, how, how long do you think I got? That's a horrible story. But what do scientists think about it? 